immaculate three bed, two bath, detached villa on a two and a half thousand metre plot, just ten minutes drive from the town of Albox. Fully walled, gated and fenced. You have your own private driveway with double gates, leading up to a large parking area and its detached 24 metre garage. The owners have spent a lot of money on laying out this plot, trying to make as much use of the space and separate areas as possible. This is the pool area here, we're surrounded by walls and terrace. And if we come round to the entrance here, you can see there's a massive expanse of terrace but it, and it is completely private and not overlooked here around the pool. You've got nice high walls but you can still see the views because of its elevated position. The plot's laid mainly to gravel with established trees and shrubs and plants and little walkways here coming around the side with gateways. Through this gateway round to the side of the house again all nicely planted and immaculately maintained. Like with many of these owners, the level part of the plot they've laid out and tend to use, whereas the rest of the plot, which goes down the banking here, they've put steps for access, but tended to leave it to its own devices. But it is still fully fenced and you could landscape that if required. Lots of additional extras, including oil-fired central heating, fly screens and security grills on all the windows. You've got guttering here. You've got mains water and mains electric but you've also got a backup tank of 3,000 litres. This is a covered pagoda area which leads out from the kitchen. And this is coming around to the back of the villa. There again the steps lead up to the top part of the plot which you can see is fenced there and a small garden area and gravel driveway here round to the rear. The garden's all integrated. So if it's just for a holiday home, it will be self-watered. And most of the garden now, to be honest, is quite well established with traditional plants and shrubs that grow here quite naturally, so won't require a lot of water anyway. Then you've got a tiled circular staircase leading up the side of the villa here to a private roof terrace. And from here you've got fantastic views of the surrounding hills. And again you've got neighbours but they're far enough away so that it's completely private. back down the staircase and we'll go inside. So to the side here, the doorway leads through into a small entrance porch and that in turn then takes you to the front door and to the hallway. Around to the left, 
double doors lead through to a very spacious, slightly unusual shape lounge. Each of the rooms has radiators for the oil fired central heating. And this one has a central log burning fireplace, which is fan assisted. As you can see, you've got nice high ceilings, nice and light and airy. And a single door here leads out to the side, a covered sunroom, perfect for the winter months. You've got sliding glass doors and windows, so you can open all of these in the summer to get some air. But in the winter, this will be a lovely sunny space. And this leads out to the pool area and the terrace. Back out into the hallway and directly opposite is a family bathroom. This has a full bath. Next door to this then is a very large dining kitchen with a full range of units. And as you can see, more than enough space for a dining table. On the door there that leads out to the covered pagoda and barbecue area to the side of the house. Then you have an archway that lead to all three bedrooms. Around to the right is the master bedroom. This is a huge room with hot and cold air conditioning, ceiling fans, but you've also got the radiator there for the winter months. An archway here through to fitted wardrobes, and then around to the left to an ensuite shower room. And then there are two further double guest bedrooms. This is bedroom number three. All three have fitted wardrobes. This one doesn't have air conditioning, but it could soon be fitted. It has a ceiling fan, and it also has the floor-to-ceiling fitted wardrobes. And then finally, bedroom number two, which is at this end. As you can see, a huge bedroom. This one has the air conditioning and the ceiling fans, and also has fitted wardrobes. An immaculate property, with so many extras, it can be sold mostly furnished if required, so you could just move straight in and have very little to do.